Hello, everyone. Now, this is one uh, Rosewood pension drive of the Seagate hard drives. We can see they are trying to access to data aero of this pension drive, and it's all red blocks. That means the data aero is fully uh, not accessible. So we have unlocked the firmware error now we can try to check the v4 and we need to clear the v4 entries and we need to regenerate the translator because we have backup the most important as well as files now we can check here uh, ROM okay uh, this is arranging ROM this is unlock ROM and for the SYS file we can find this copy zero we have backup the 1B the 35 and the 28 this is a translator so we close the window now we are regenerating the translator because we try to access to this data arrow and all red blocks so for this kind of issue it's a must to regenerate the translator and before we regenerate the translator we need to clear the v4 Now we just need to wait until the translator regeneration completes. Now we have seen that the translator regeneration completes, so we can check the v4 zero. But uh, the v4 zero entries has changed. So at this time, if we try to access to the data arrow, we can see uh, the front part. Now this is the front part, we can check if the data arrow is accessible or not. See the front part has been accessible, but we need to check the ending part of the data arrow. Now we need to say 38, the ending part of LBA. Clear, click OK. Now we can see it's partial sector access now. It's red blocks. So we need to close this window and go back to the COM terminal. And then we need to write, write back the ng list.
35, 3, node, copy 0, SOS, write this Angelis to back. zero. Now this is original entry, so we need to regenerate the translator again. Now we can see the entries are the same number sets. So we can now check the ending part of the LBA. That is to make sure the whole data arrow is accessible. So we just input the ending LBA. It's very close to the last LBA. So we simply click clear scan record and click OK. Now we can see that the whole drive is accessible because this is the ending part of the data arrow. Now we can switch to the DFLDDP to get the lost data back and we can click yes and
and then we can simply select the SATA zero, click DDP, and new project. Now we can see that this is lost partition. Click root. And we can see that all the lost folders and files are here. And users can now select the wanted folders and files and then right click to save file or recover selected files. So different options have been offered to the user to recover the lost data efficiently and effectively. Thank you for watching this video and users can follow this video to fix a similar